Today we're going to be making these dish towels. They are so cute. They hook over your oven door. And the reason I'm doing this and showing you is because sometimes we get dish towels that we like, but we can't find a pot holder that we like, you know, the pot holder type. Or the um, pot holder will have a design and it really doesn't look good when it's folded. So this is a easy way to make a oven door dish towel that's functional and cute. Let me show you how. So I'm going to be using a pot holder, but you know, sometimes you just can't find any that match, like I said. So what I'm going to do is I got this at the Dollar General, you know, and I thought it was very cute. So I've got fabric. So I'm just going to take the tag off. Okay. Now I am going to spread this out, fold it in half because you don't need both pieces. Oh, I want to tear this out but not rip my rip my um all right I got it so I'm gonna fold this in half the reason I have a pot holder here is cuz I'm gonna have to have it okay I'm gonna use it so I know how big to make the piece of fabric but I will let you know what my measurements are but I'm gonna cut this towel in half because I will get two towels with one towel so you're going to need two 8 by 16 pieces. 8 by 16, okay? Now you're going to need fusible interfacing, or at least that's what I prefer. Now it doesn't have to be the exact length, but it, it needs to be the exact width or close to it. So I need two pieces. Make sure you don't cut your fabric. So I'm going to need two of these. My, I need to iron my fabric. It is rickety. It is rickety. Good night alive. Y'all, I'm doing this as I go because I don't have a pattern. I'm just doing this because... Like I said, I need more towels. I like to towel, and I don't have a pot holder. And I may end up not even liking this and, and sell it. I don't know. But iron your pieces and fuse this to the wrong side of both of your pieces of fabric. You can use featherweight, lightweight, or medium weight. It doesn't really matter. But you do need interfacing in there, okay, to make it stiffer. Okay, so I have my interfacing ironed and I have my fabric kind of ironed. Now you have to watch it because if you iron it on the other side, you're going to get wrinkles in it because of the interfacing. But I'm going to take one side, okay, and I'm going to bring it up. That's why I said cut your interfacing a little shorter. And I'm going to bring it up about half inch, okay, somewhere around in there. And I'm going to iron that up. Now this is the easiest way I know how to do this, okay? Easiest way. So now I'm going to take the one half of my towel and I'm going to iron this out. Y'all, I got that so uneven, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be hidden. Hidden anyway, okay? So I'm just ironing it because I don't want their lines in it. I want my own lines in it, okay? Plus, I just like to iron stuff. I, I gotta quit setting that on my mat. But I don't want to burn myself. Okay, so flip your towel over. Now, I'm just gonna go in a little bit. And I got my, my hands under, okay? And my fingers up. And I'm gonna pinch down where my fingers are. And I'm just gonna pull it over. This does not have to be precise science, okay? It just doesn't. And I'm gonna have to put that on my table. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other. Except I'm using my pinky. And my finger now I want these straight okay you want these straight now on the side that you didn't flip up okay but I've got strings everywhere bud we're gonna take this fabric 
Okay, I'm gonna make sure I got my squeeze the day shows. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna grab it without moving it and I'm gonna put it on top of this. You could lay this down first and then do your towel if you want to. What this has to be is just a smidgen through here and a smidgen on this side, but make sure you keep the top straight okay it's important and these could be about the same if it's not you know bring it out and and just play with it till you get it like i said it's no science i'm just i'm just doing it okay i've got strings everywhere and i know they're going to be in my chair wheels so once i get this on here i got a little leeway here and a little leeway here these look fairly even I think I think looks good to me so I am just going to pin this right to this top okay now I do pin these so they don't move Just going to put a few in here and I'll pull these out as I sew but I'm going to make sure this stays right on the edge of my fabric because I want to sew you know straight through there and these are about the same oh I know what that's wrong that's wrong that goes in like that I had way too much over here see I got a finger space here about a finger space here I'm not a pleater either. Not too much. I do basic, but this don't have to be nothing I sew has to be perfect except my clothes, and I don't do that very often. But anyway, I'm just gonna sew a basting line right across here, okay? Just a simple stitch close to this edge. Shoot. Now that's attached. Now when you're sewing and you're going this way, your presser foot will go across this one easy. On this one it might get stuck. Just leave your needle down, raise your presser foot up, fix it, put it back down, and keep going. So it's on there now, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to iron this with my seam on the inside, okay? So I'm just going to drag it up, make sure my seam is going this way you can see it right there maybe and I'm just gonna press this right here okay this is very important that you get this even now I'm gonna take this one the other end of this and I'm gonna match this perfect to this right here may come down just a smidgen just a smidgen. If y'all don't know what a smidgen is, I'm sorry. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my needle, because I didn't get this perfect, of course, and I'm going to go from this end, because I want this one straight, down this way. From this end, down this way. And I'm going to put this under there and bring my needle right to the edge of my, uh, whatever this thing is, towel, dish towel. <laughs> and I'm just going to sew right down this and sew right down this and leave this open for now, okay? When y'all are sewing this, don't forget to backstitch here and backstitch here or it's going to come apart on you, okay? So now I'm going to clip... In an angle my corners here so that I get a nice 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 corner okay now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna flip this inside out or right side out not inside out right side out I'll get it in a minute y'all y'all know I'm crazy okay y'all know I'm crazy I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and uh, it's not easy okay so you want to push this out I like to do this 
and that will bring my seams out I don't even know if it works it just makes me feel better <laughs> whatever whatever okay all right so you want this as flat as possible okay as even and as flat as possible iron that down make sure you don't push too hard because your you see my interfacing under there is wrinkling and this is not on the side you can roll your seams out as well just roll your fabric and it should pull your seam out let me see this thing sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't but it did just press now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna sew this first and I'm gonna sew a hem or yeah not I'm gonna I'm gonna outline this I don't know if it's a hem but this has to be shut you know what I'm saying so if it come down just a little bit if I sew across this right here it's gonna catch this right here for sure so I'll go around this and end up back here and cut my cut my thread I'll start stop I know what I said back stitch don't forget I have this and I'm gonna clip my stitches and to add the ruffle okay you don't have to add the ruffle you can leave it as is you can add a piece of Dollar Tree ribbon just simple just burn the edges and add the strip of ribbon right there if you want to that looks pretty cute and just sew it right on to that and there you go or let me show you this one you'll have to cut this off okay cut all this off because you don't want that bunchy bunchy trust me and I took my strip cut the ends off okay and then I hemmed my edges sewed them like this right here and then I hemmed this I did not hem this I actually used a serger but you could use a zigzag stitch as well and what you do is you put your ruffle this side you gather it up to fit your your towel you put it right sides together so it would be like this right sides together sew it on and then flip it under and stitch it but to put the ruffle on we need to get rid of this bottom here it's too thick and we don't want it on there okay so I'm just cutting along the edge cutting as less as I have to if that makes sense so all I did was cut that off okay we can get rid of that so I'm gonna take this and because I am using a ruffler or not a ruffler uh, uh, oh goodness gracious a gathering foot okay I'll, I use the whole width of a 45 yard of fabric I just cut it across 45 all right so I'm gonna cut those edges off so I'm gonna run this under my rolled hammer this way so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it in and I'm gonna fold it in again okay and I'm using a six millimeter hammer it is my favorite it's easier to work with and I'm gonna iron that down all right so I'm gonna take you over here and I'm gonna show you how I use my hold my hold rimmer my rolled hammer foot okay and it's really easy it takes some practice but I'm gonna show you how I do it all right okay so I have shown you this before I know this is my number six. This is the one I absolutely love. My voice may sound different because I had to take my mic out to come over here, but I'm just gonna drop that foot and I may move you because I hit the cord 
and I'm gonna snap this foot on, okay? Make sure all your thread is under your little crack over here, okay? Now, that part that I ironed, I'm gonna fold it over. This may be blurry some, all right? And I'm gonna place it under here, and I'm going to set this down. And I'm going to adjust my needle, and it should be adjusted to where I need it, okay? Now, I am going to leave this just like this, and I'm going to make a few straight stitches, okay? Now, my needle don't drop down, so I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to raise my foot and leave your needle in it. There's a little penny pin thing right here. You'll want to raise this over the foot, like that right there. See what I'm done? Put it down. Now what you want to do is you want to hold your fabric. I like to hold it up. It seems to do better. Now take these fingers and pull. You'll see what I'm doing. You'll, you'll see my movements, I hope. Now this may get blurry because it's autofocus camera, okay? But this is what's called a hem foot. It has a edge right here, not a hem foot, good lord, a gathering foot, and it has an edge right here. This goes on my domestic sewing machines, but I have bought one for my vintage 401 Singer, okay? And what you want to do when you do this, these are so easy, and this makes it, it'll make it pretty much just the right uh length for my towel because I don't know it just ends up that way I love it it's the way I do it if not it can be adjusted but I'm gonna go on the other side of this okay and I'm gonna put it under here now I'm gonna keep my fabric on the edge of this foot right here and my needle is in the middle if you have it too much on this side it'll yank your fabric okay so my needle's in the middle my tension is on a nine, and my stitch length is the longest you can go, okay? Now, all I'm going to do is sew and just watch the magic, okay? Do not pull your fabric. Let it do what it has to do. Keep this out of the way. When you get to the end, just pull it out and leave a little string hanging in case you have to adjust. Now all I have to do, I have to take this ruffle, put it face down on this towel, okay? And it should pretty much match up. I told y'all literally perfect like seriously so I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna match it right up to the edge right there like that right there I'm gonna pin this baby okay I don't want it to move I want it right on the edge that way everything lines up and then I'm going to put one right here okay now I'm going to stretch this and see if it's going to make it or if I need to let I need to let a little bit out so all I'm going to do is just pull that's all you got to do is pull and pull your gathers to get them even so you don't have them all in one spot okay you don't want that but it gathers so beautiful and it's so much easier than weaving in and out and doing this by hand y'all I mean seriously I'm almost positive I have these linked in my Amazon store. If you're interested in them, you'll love them. Once you get the hang of it, you'll love it. It makes sewing so much easier. So I'm just going to attach this. And then I am going to go to my 
serger, okay? Now you can zigzag this if you do not have a serger. Just zigzag across it with your zigzag stitch on your normal machine. But I have a serger and I am going to take advantage of my serger. And I am going to go over there and just serge this on, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That was punny. I know y'all are laughing. Match this side up like that right there. Make sure you don't catch your thread and you can draw this or loosen it as you need to to finish this off. And it's easy as that, y'all. Now I'm going to go sew it on, okay? My ruffle is on. I surged it, but like I said, you can surge or zigzag. It does not matter. That's, that's up to you. But I got my ruffle on and I ironed it with my serge up, see? Now I can put a little stitch across here and I probably will so that it doesn't, so that it all stays like this. And then for the top, okay, y'all know I'm a snapper. I'm a snapper girl. I have snaps. I have, but I have a bunch of snaps. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put snaps on here. Now you can add a button, put a buttonhole, put a button here so you can attach your button like that right there over your stove or you can um put one in the middle one snap in the middle but this snap setter is not gonna go all the way in the middle see so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get my little uh i think them would match better yep I need two, I need one, one male, one female, and two caps for each side, okay? So that's, that's a total of four caps, two males, two females, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my awl, it comes in the kit, this is a cam snaps kit. I have one in my Amazon store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hole let me see where do I want these to go. I'm going to put them together just because I can. And I'm going to put my hole right here. Okay. And I'm going to bore that out a little bit and I'm gonna get it the same on the other side just by eyeballing it and there you go and wiggle that hole out so this one will need when you see it you're gonna need the stobs to go in okay put your stob in now on this one so you're, when you lay it out, you got both both of the stob things in the back, okay? Both stobs in the back. So there they are. Now if you don't have fingernails to do this, let me show you something. Because you have to pop it down. Sorry for all the snapping. Take you a pen, take your thing out of it, and this will slide right over that and punch your fabric right down. You're welcome. <laughs> That's because I love y'all. Uh, once again, we're putting these on the back. Did you hear it pop? It's so much easier than ruining my fingernails. What little I got here. Wiggle that to get it in there. Right down in place. Alright, now. I want my male to go in my female. I know that sounds bad, but that's that's the way I do it. Okay, so I'm going to pop the males on here, and they'll, they'll stay. Now, I don't think the females, I don't know. Oh, they will. Mash them down, because this is going to go over into this. See what I'm saying? Awesome. Now, you're just going to take your snap setter, and you're going to put the cap on this black part in this bottom. Okay? And it's already set up for these 20 millimeter 
snacks. I made this. I have a tutorial. I'll try to link it. Push down as best you can. Sorry if you saw me in there. And it will smash your snap. Okay. Go to the next one. Make sure it's in there or you'll crush it. Okay. Push down and squeeze your snap. Make sure they snap. Oh, yep. Good deal. Do the same on the other side. Like I said, make sure it's in there, even if you got to wiggle it a little bit. Wiggle. What's a wiggle? Even if you got to wiggle it. Wiggle, wiggle. And there you go. Minus this excess fabric. That is so stinking pretty. I love it. All I got to do is sew it and we're done. And here they are. This is how they hang on your stove. They're so pretty. If y'all like this video, leave me a thumbs up. Add a comment. Your interaction helps my channel to grow and helps YouTube throw me out there to more people so that my channel could grow. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. You are a blessing. Until next time, goodbye.